that subscribe button and bell icon so you never miss an update from Leela Bakore Tutorials. In this part, we'll talk about another class that is Abe's or which we commonly know as the birds. And we will first take up the general characteristic features. Birds have streamlined body. Streamlined body is spindle shaped and it is required if the animal has to move in a medium. That medium could be air or water. So here because they have to fly, their body is streamlined. The beak part is narrower and the tail part is also narrower. So spindle shaped body is there. Then the exoskeleton is made up of feathers. These are all the adaptations which the birds have so that they can fly. Because they have to lift their body, the body weight has to be less. So these feathers, they help in that flight. Four limbs are modified into wings. Birds do not have glands on their skin. So their skin is dry, no glands except preen gland. preen or oil gland and this gland also is present only at the base of tail. Now what they do is they touch this gland which is at the base of the tail with their beak and then the oil which is produced by this gland uh, comes on their beak and then they spread this oil on the feathers. So whenever a bird is sitting, you will always find that it is doing something with its feathers. So these birds do two things with their feathers. One, they keep spreading this oil on the feathers because we know oil would not let water come closer to it. If the feathers get wet, that means they would hold that much of water and if they hold water, the weight of the body is going to increase. So this is one thing that they do. And in the feathers, there are structures which fit into each other to make a locking arrangement and that locking results in the formation of a complete sheet. So sometimes when they fly, this lock unopen, uh, un gets unlocked. So what they do is with their beak, they fix this lock and keep spreading that oil. So this oil which is produced by the preen gland, this is the only gland which is present in their skin and that too at the base of the tail. Endoskeleton is made up of bones. So it is bony endoskeleton but the bones are pneumatic. Pneumatic bones means the bones have air cavities. Again, an adaptation to make the bones very light so that it is easier for the birds to fly. In endoskeleton, we also talk of sternum. Sternum, which is known as the breast bone, it is keeled. Normal case, in case of humans, the breast bone or the sternum is a flat bone. But in case of birds, it becomes a V shaped like this. So this flat area which is there that is known as keel, this is the surface where the flight muscles get attached. So the keeled sternum is a characteristic feature of birds and this area, the keeled area provides attachment for the muscles, the flight muscles. So this is special about the endoskeleton. Now the limbs, hind limbs, They are modified for perching. Perching mechanism is where many a times many birds have this perching mechanism. Perching mechanism is when the bird sits on a thin wiry structure. 
So if this is the limb, these are the digits, the pentadictyl uh, digits are there, five digits. So four are forward and one is backward. And there is a ligament like structure here. So when the bird sits on this and this structure gets pressed, these digits, they bend inside. So it gives a grip to that bird when it's sitting on a thin wire. And if it has to open these digits, the bird has to lift its weight. So you would find that the bird starts flying or moving its wings before it actually leaves that wire. So when it moves its wings, its body gets lifted and as the weight here is lost, this structure or these digits, they get unlocked. This mechanism is called perching mechanism. So hind limbs are modified for perching so that they're able to sit on thin wires. Many birds are able to do that, but there are few birds who are not able to sit with this particular mechanism. Then if we talk about some systems, say digestive system. In case of birds, digestive system is very well developed, but there are certain modifications. They have beak and the beak is without teeth. There are no teeth. We say that the birds are edentulous. They do not have teeth. So what exactly they do is they simply take the food and swallow. So loss of teeth is an adaptation so that the body weight is less. Circulatory system, they have proper four chambered heart. And there is complete double circulation. Complete double circulation means the oxygenated and deoxygenated blood, it is completely separated. There is no mixing. So it is a very efficient heart. Our heart and the heart of birds is pretty much same. Only difference is in our case, the aorta or the systemic arch goes from the left side, whereas in case of birds, it goes from the right side. Excretion or excretory system, they have kidneys, but they have to minimize the loss of water and energy, and that is why they are uricotelic. They excrete uric acid. Bird droppings normally contain some whitish part in it and that whitish part is the uric acid. Nervous system, very well developed. Some birds have a very, very keen sense of sight. They can spot a very tiny object or uh, an animal from a height. So the sense of vision is very well developed, but the sense of smell is not that strong. Because if the bird is flying at a very height, it need not smell those things. But if it is able to spot that particular, um, say, rat or frog, which it wants to feed on, then it has to have a very keen sight or vision. They have very keen sight. So this is about nervous system. Reproductive system. They are oviparous, they lay eggs. Again, this, is, this comes under the adaptation. If they were viviparous, then the female bird would have been required to carry the embryo along with it, but they are oviparous. So as soon as the egg is formed, it is deposited with the shell and it is laid. They are oviparous, the egg is polylecithal, and cladoic. That means polylecithal is sufficient yolk is present. <coughs> and cladoic egg is, which is self-sufficient uh, egg with protective shell. So those kind of eggs are present in this. In case of birds, we find some unique things also. They have sirings, which is the sound producing structure, which is found in case of birds. So these are some general characteristic features of birds and all these characteristics are keeping in mind that they have 
to fly. So these also come under the flight adaptations in case of birds. Now we will take some examples uh, in the next part and we will see which are the special characteristic features of those important birds.